dark web is a hidden part of the internet it has more extraordinary things it is also a digital home for criminals dark web is a place to buy or sell literally anything it is a place of the internet where most of the illegal activities takes place but you already know all this but you may not to know how the dark web works are you really anonymous while using dark web dark web is works on onion routing protocol you can't access dark web with any other browsers it can only access by the open source software called tor it stands for onion routing and it implements the onion routing protocol let's talk about the onion routing protocol and how it works if you want to access your website on dark web your request will split out to packets the packets travel between the intermediate nodes before they reach the server before the request went out from your browser it will encrypted by the keys the request will encrypted by different keys the keys are called as nodes usually there is three nodes between you and the server okay let's take the key as three it has three nodes between you and the server of dark web for each node you share a unique key and the message have been encrypted by the key okay let's take a1 is a symmetric key that you send to node 1 and a2 is another symmetric key that you send to node 3 and a3 is another symmetric key that you send to node 3 your request will first encrypted with a3 a2 and a1 this is the way how the key encrypt our request while accessing the dark web and then it's finally forwarded to the onion network First, the node 1 receives your request. The node the node 1 as A13 decrypts the message. But still the message was encrypted by the A2 and A3 keys. The node 1 is nothing know about your message except where it will come and where it needs to forward. And node 1 forward this request to node 2 and node 2 as A2. Node 2 decrypts the message with the A2 key but the message will still encrypted with one layer of key called A3. The node 2 does not know anything about this message and the node 2 forward message to node 3 and node 3 has the A3 key. The A3 key will decrypt the message. Now the message was fully decrypted. Now node 3 forward the message to dark web server. This is how the onion routing protocol works. It works on layers of encryption making it hard to anyone in network to track anyone in other words it provides two things number one confidentiality that is you don't know who is making the request number two encryption your data using tor will be encrypted no third party can see your data while using tor but here on onion routing protocol there is a flaw let's see one second time if you sending a request to force node one and node two and node three first node one is receiving the request as first node 1 knows who are you and and where the request is coming and node 1 as no node 1 know your ip address but node 1 cannot read your request but it still know your identity so there is no confidentiality between you and node 1 which we called as the entry node after the node 1 decrypting the message it sends to the node 2 that node 2 has no idea about the message where it's coming the node 2 only know where the message needs to forward the node 2 does not know the real sender of the request because it is the node 2 is receiving by the node 1 so here we have confidentiality and encryption and the node 2 sends the request to node 3 node 3 has decrypted the last layer of encryption node 3 have the not encrypted form of your message node 3 can read the message and he know where the message need headed to and this problem can be avoided by using https website https website means it will encrypt all the communication that you made in the website so we can avoid the problem by using https website if you want to know more about http and https websites how it's working and watch my this video how to secure on internet i will give the link on description and the i button also i will explain clearly about http and https website on that video by using https website your message will still encrypted will only decrypt by the web server there is no anonymity on the entry node it will lock your ip address and it figure out your identity the bindle node does not know anything about your message where the message is coming from and what is the destination of this message and what is written inside the message it does not know anything about your message and you in the 
middle node. In exit node, it, the message will not encrypt it, but it knows the destination of the message. If the website does not have HTTPS, the exit node can read what's inside your message. If anybody monitoring the entry node and exit node, they will can find out your identity and one way to overcome this by using tor over vpn first connect your vpn and start start using the website that you need to access first the request will send to your vpn server your vpn server encrypts the message and send to the node one so node one does not know the real person who is who is sending the request but if you using if you download and using the vpn from internet means the vpn providers can know your identity on what you are searching for for that creating your your own vpn because i have my own vpn if you need to know how to create our own vpn means comment below i will make a separate video for that i will have your own vpn if you also create a, create a your own VPN, you need to upload to a web server. If you have your own web server, there is no problem. You will be anonymous on internet. But if it does not have a web server, you need to upload in somewhere. I was uploaded my VPN on Google Cloud. So Google Cloud know my identity. By using Tor over VPN, it will be a better option. Can you trust anyone with your data on internet?